Welcome to Lucky Number 13. That's right. This is the 13th episode of Brick City News. I'm Sarah Smania. I have a lot to share today. First, you've probably heard about the recent report from CEOCA. But what does it mean? CEOCA is the Committee on Equal Opportunity, Communication, and Access. It was formed by President Buckley to address student concerns about communication access and language choice. CEOCA submitted 11 recommendations to Dr. Buckley. On April 17th, President Buckley announced that he had accepted most of the recommendations from the committee. You can see all of the recommendations and President Buckley's response on the President's website. In January 2017, RIT President Bill Dessler and NTID President Jerry Buckley established a Presidential Commission on the NTID Student Experience. They charged the Commission with reviewing student-related policies, practices, and programs at NTID and developing recommendations to enhance student experience and to ensure student success. The Commission looked specifically at four areas in their process shared governance, student support services, diversity initiatives, and administrative processes. President Dessler and President Buckley reviewed the 14 recommendations submitted by the Commission and approved 13 as submitted and one with modifications. More information is available on the NTID President's website. On May 3rd, Ignite the Change will happen. This event focuses on domestic violence, sexual assault, and accountability in relationships. This is a very important topic for everyone. That's why Delta Sigma Phi is partnering with FEMCO, a feminist student group here on campus, to provide this event. Ignite is an organization here in Rochester that focuses on helping people who have been through violence in their relationships and they will have people there to speak about these topics, facilitate discussions, and lead games to teach you important things about boundaries and relationships. Even if you're in a good relationship or are single, you should check it out. Ignite the Change will happen on Wednesday, May 3rd, from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the SDC 1300-1310. Food and interpreters will be provided. It's that time of year. Dyer Art Center hosts many student exhibits during April and May. Several BFA seniors are exhibiting their thesis shows, including Tammy Wells, who is deaf. Her show will run from April 28th to May 20th, with an opening reception on Friday, April 28th, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the Dyer Art Center. Another big exhibit by students will come from the Visual Communication Studies program here at NTID. Their honors exhibition will also run from April 28th to May 20th, and there will be a reception on Thursday, May 4th, from 4 to 6 p.m. Come see what the best of NTID's student artists are doing. For more information about the exhibit schedule, visit this website below. The spring semester is almost over. Whew! The first two weeks of May are always busy for the entire campus. Graduation is in sight, and everyone's running around. Keep your eyes peeled for activities during finals week. There will be many that will help you relieve your stress, prepare for your exams, and just let you enjoy the beautiful weather that will come. If you're new to RIT and TID, commencement has many different parts to it. RIT is a large school. First, you should know that NTID will be the first to have its graduation ceremony this year. NTID ceremony will be on Friday, May 19th at 3.30 p.m. in the Jean Policini Center. You will not need any tickets to get in. Second, the University of Rochester is also having its graduation on that weekend, so if you have family coming, they should book their hotels and make sure everything's ready to go right now. Third, I will be graduating. Yes, I'm graduating this year. 
Right now, I'm focused on several projects and completing my application for graduate school here at RIT. Sometimes I stop and look back and remember all of the great memories I made in the last four years, such as making new friends, exploring new places, meeting new people, discussing great ideas, and many more. Rochester will always hold a special place in my heart. I know it is sad that I'm graduating, but it's also a very exciting time of the year. I'm looking forward to what the future brings with all the tools RIT has given me. What else will the future bring? That's right. This is the last episode of Brick City News for this year. We'll be back in the fall with even more information than you ever wanted to know. That wraps up this episode and this year. I'm Sarah Smania, and I hope you have a great summer. <music> <laughs>